Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a feature today that a lot of people don't really even know exists. It's something that's buried in the context menu, or the right-click menu as a lot of people call it, and it has to do with aligning the views and axes. So we're going to hop right in and take a look at this. So I have this shape right here, a, uh, a dodecahedron, if you will. Link to a video on how to create those down below. And uh, something I want to do is I want to turn this into a die, say. I want to put numbers on every face. So I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my... 3D text tool, and uh, we'll start with the number one. I'm going to place it, and one of the cool things, of course, that SketchUp does is it automatically snaps to the face. So all I have to do is hover over a face, and it lets me put it on there. So this works real good. I'll put one here. I'm going to jump to, uh, let's see, what number will go next? Two, place, and place it over here. Um, but this is where I may run into an issue. Uh, I feel pretty good. I got this pretty well centered, but over here, yeah, I'm a little bit off. So one of the features I have in SketchUp is to select a surface, any surface, right click and choose Align View. Clicking Align View is going to set the camera so you're zooming directly at that surface. So now I could actually take my, my number, maybe move it over so it's a little more centered. Then when I go in here to put face number, put number three on, hit Place, I can actually right click and align view so you can actually use that while you're in another tool as long as you have the ability to right click in that tool and i'm aware please don't comment one two three don't go in order on a die i know i'm just uh using this as an example for the dice police out there don't bust me all right so there are some limitations to align view first and foremost if i triple click and make this a group I cannot right click and align view to a face from outside a group. What I have to do in that case is double click to enter, then I can right click and I can say align view. Another limitation is I cannot come in here and I'm going to uh, smooth this line right here. I, when I click to right click on a smooth surface and click align view, you'll see nothing happens. I can't actually align to something that has more than one face. If you're in a situation like this, so say, say I do have a bunch of faces smoothed in here, and that's intentional, that's how I want it, and I want to align to want some portion of that, the trick is to show hidden, then I can select a single surface, right click, and align my view. That works then. So, uh, good tip in case you're in a situation like that. I'm going to go ahead and explode this back out. I don't need it in a group, I was just using that to uh, show the options there. Um, Another tip, so if I come in here and uh, I'll grab this surface down here, right click, align view. It's going to pull me in, show me right there. Um, as I'm kind of zooming around, whenever you zoom, the camera zooms in wherever the cursor is. So I'm, if I'm on this piece right here, the camera is still saying, staying fairly perpendicular to that, that uh, face. But as I zoom in and out, you see I kind of come off axis. I'm a little bit little bit off of uh, straight on with that shape and it's moving over because I'm zooming in over to the side. So the thing to do when I when I click align view what it does is it puts it so the center pixel of this surface is right dead center in the middle of the screen. So in order to keep it there if I'm concerned about staying centered the solution is to rather than using orbit with the uh, uh, scroll on your your mouse or the orbit tool or even a 3D mouse the solution is to click Zoom. Zoom, when you click and drag up or down, it's going to zoom in and out. It doesn't look at where the cursor is. So I can move my mouse over here, slide up and down. I can come over here, slide up and down. It doesn't matter. It keeps that center. Whatever's in the center right now is going to stay in the center as you zoom in and out. So this is a great tool for a line view. If I have a big surface and I want to zoom in and out and, and see different parts of it, zoom is a great spot to stay aligned. It'll, it'll make it easier to stay aligned. Another alignment tool we have in here is, so if I come in here and align view to this face down here, and I want to come in and I want to draw on here, um, when I click, if, if I go in here and align to my axes, you can see that I'm coming off at a weird angle because this surface is not on axes. I could go through and rotate this so that it aligns with the red or the green axes, whatever. Um, but that's not ideal in a lot of situations, especially in this case where I have all these faces I wanted to draw on. So say I wanted to come in here and I wanted to uh, draw a square or something like that. 
I would be limited with my snapping to using either the sides of, of the triangle I'm working on or perpendicular to that triangle side. That's my only option. So what I can do, the other option is to right click on the surface and say align axes. That's going to snap the axes so that my surface is flat against the axes. This means I can come in here with a line now. I don't actually have to keep this selected either. Um, I can come in here with a line and I can go into draw and I'm going to draw a parallel to the axes. So all my, my red green axes are now parallel to that face. As I push pull, this is going to come up along the blue axes. So everything I'm doing now is on axes. Um, this is a lot easier than rotating your model around to get the axes or even coming in here and clicking the axes tool and manually placing it. Just right click and align axes. Of course, that leaves the problem of I want to come out here and do some work. I don't need this axis all crazy. I can at any time right click on any of the axes, any of the lines and hit reset. That's going to put it back where it was. All right, one more align tool, and that has to do with section cuts. When I come in here and place a section cut, I'm going to do it on a face right here, and I'm going to move it down. All right, that looks pretty cool. So again, I can kind of come in here and try to get straight on with that. Um, but an even easier solution, of course, is to right click on the section face. If I don't have it actually, if I don't have my fill turned on, I can actually right click on the section itself and I can say align view. This is going to take you so you're absolutely perpendicular to that view, whatever that view is, wherever that view is, um, and you're looking straight at it. This, of course, works real well for doing things like sections, uh, elevations, that kind of thing where I'm going to want to align my view absolutely. And uh, these views, these aligned views in general, work real well with going into camera and parallel projection, which is going to give you a straight-on symmetric look as opposed to the somewhat warped or realistic view of uh, the perspective, of course. So there you go. A couple of alignment tools available to you inside of SketchUp right now. Hopefully some skills that will help you out in the future. If you do like that, if it does help you, let us know. We like making these videos, but especially when there's something that you want to see. While you're telling us what you think about it, go ahead and subscribe or give us a like. That lets us know that you like these videos and they're helping you out. Thank you.